Welcome to my review of the GPD Win. So, what is the GPD Win? It's a fully fledged mini laptop where you can play real PC games on. It comes with a full Windows 10 uh, Intel Atom Z8700 processor. It's a quad core processor with 2.4 GHz Turbo Boost. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gig internal MMC storage, and of course you have a micro SD slot. You can put micro SDs up to 256 gigs. A full USB 3.0 port. God damn it! Camera zoom in. There we go. Uh, which is used by my Samsung Fit thumb drive at the moment. Um, micro HDMI port to plug in an external monitor or a TV. This is a USB-C port where you can charge the device or plug in USB-C hubs or anything else. And of course, uh, headphone jack. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, this is the switch to switch into the mouse mode. Or you can control your mouse with the right analog stick. What is here? It is uh, the D input mode for older games that don't support the Xbox 360 controller, and the X input mode to use the controller and um, X input uh, like uh, emulated Xbox 360 controller. All right, uh, yeah, let's play some games on. Uh, let's bring up Steam. There we go. And of course, a title that you won't miss on this device that we're gonna play now. Oh, yeah, it tells me I'm still locked in on Gary's mod on my other computer. Let's close that down. There we go. Here we have the the Skyrim launcher. I have some optimization mods for this, so we're gonna have a decent frame rate and decent. Well, for this screen, decent graphics as well. It's a 5.5 inch screen, so yeah. bit lower. Let's load this safe. And here we go. We're running Skyrim, as you know it, with about 30 frames per second, which is the exact frame rate you would have on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. And it runs pretty well. Oh, here's my horse.
those flames. Let's go somewhere else. Like, let's go to White Run and see how the frame rate is in the city. Shut up. Okay, we still have like 30 ish, 30 ish. It's pretty well. Okay. I'm gonna look over the entire city. I've got like 25 ish. 24, which is still pretty good. There's still some more room for optimizations, but I don't want to have the game look like shit, because that's gonna ruin the whole fun. So it doesn't look that good as on the console version, but it's still pretty well for a handheld. Okay, let's bring up another game. Let's bring up Gears of War. Oh, yeah, I already got it. It's going to take a moment. Oh, one thing I forgot. For graphic intensive games, you can use this little program, Hyalgo Switch, which let which lets you reduce the re the resolution in game. It gives you like a good FPS boost depending on the game. Yes, I want to activate it. There we 
get about 28 to 30 FPS in native 2017. Still a good frame rate during intense gaming. Turning down the resolution, you can see the frame rates going up a little. Depending, yes, yeah, so you can see it goes up to around. Depends uh, if the game is heavily CPU limited or GPU. If the game is GPU limited, then I can tell you it helps a lot. Okay. Where is he? I have to help him. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh! Get up! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Shit. Oh well. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm like, okay, not really. Uh, okay, let's see what else we have. Also, a really popular title by Shuck Infinite. <laughs> I also lowered the resolution for this to run decently. Still, at, I think I'm still at the beginning of the game. I restarted the game to do some tests, also, I don't think I'm very far in this. Let's put up the fan. Taken a while to load. There it is. 
the beginning hall. Welcomes hall, whatever. Looking up, getting 60 frames. Oh, of course, not all the time. <laughs> Get into a bigger room. Frame rate's dropping a little. That's still runs pretty well. Alright, enough of this. What else do we have? Some reason I don't think it got my Steam database on the external drive. Uh, on the uh, micro SD. <laughs> okay. Well, it can't be removed. Okay. Of course, we have Dishonored, also a really popular title. Yes, a low access. Yep. That's loading. Continue. Okay, we have about mm, twenty. If I reduce the resolution. Uh, it's gonna go up to 25-ish. Not sure if I even reduce the settings. <laughs> Normal. No, I don't want to change the resolution right now. God damn it. 
Okay. Not that bad. I'm gonna turn it back up. Okay, there we go. Huh, this wheel. Uh, get out of there. Yeah, frame rate is pretty good here. I haven't played this game in forever. You have to throw them somewhere to lure the rats away from the gate. There you go. Or uh, not. Or not. Uh. There. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, that works. Uh, get out of here. Still running pretty well. I think I have to climb here, yep. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, that's it. That's my review of the GPD win, even though uh wasn't a pretty good review, but I hope you guys liked it. And I all I can say is that the device is worth the 300 to 400 bucks depending on where you buy it. What you get for this it's pretty good. If you're in the go and want to play your PC games, you always have your PC games with you. If you want to play newer games, you'll have to optimize them if you still don't get a decent frame rate at minimum settings. You have to look up guides to optimize the game even more. But that won't be much of a problem if you go on YouTube like look up for low spec gamer he has a couple of videos that he made and yeah that's it thanks for watching